and I'm going to go into engineering data to choose the materials that I want to use. I go to engineering data sources. Choose explicit materials. And then I'm going to choose from the library. So I'm going to choose polyurethane. I'm going to choose some concrete. Now I'm going to choose some nylon. Now some of these materials are not necessarily the ones that are commonly used, but for this example we're going to choose these ones. Um, it's a basic example. Right, so now I'm going to go back, choose geometry. And I'm going to import my geometry. So I got four bodies. That would be the curb, the head, the internal liner, and the outer shell. I'm going to close the design modeler and go to model. my units. Right. So I got my four bodies. So I'm going to choose the materials for each. So for the curb, I'm going to choose concrete. head. I'm going to choose nylon. Again, this is not necessarily accurate. It has roughly the same mass, but uh, it is not a validated head form. Those can be available. Um, for the internal liner, I'm going to choose polyurethane. Commonly might be EPS foam, polyesterine. And for the outer shell, I'm going to use nylon. Commonly, might be something else. Um, after that, got my materials. So, I have generic contacts that are automatic, including all bodies. And I'm going to do a mesh. I'm going to use the default meshing. Perhaps I'm going to reduce the resolution to three to save us time from computation. And I'm going to generate mesh. I'm going to then go to initial conditions. 
I want to put some velocity, so that's some initial velocity. And I'm going to put it on the head. So I'm going to choose geometry selection. I'm going to in fact the head, the liner, and the helmet. So three bodies. Then I'm going to choose components in the velocity. And then put minus nine meters per second in the y direction. Right. After that, I might want to put some constraints on my curb. So I'm going to choose the body and or rather I'm going to choose this face then apply fix support and then I'm going to ask for some outputs so I want some force reaction so I'm going to choose geometry selection I'm going to choose again this face and in terms of orientation, I want the total. I will also add some stress. I need to sign an end time. So I'm going to put nine to the minus third seconds. So I only need that impact. Uh, what happens before or after, I'm not that interested. So there's no reason to keep calculating every step. And I think we're ready to run it. Once the calculation is finished, it's interesting to compare the force reaction uh, with the helmet, with the previous one that we did uh, without. And also we can look at the um, equivalent stress. And this could give us sufficient material to comment and discuss.